Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't. I just knew I knew about like 90 minutes before the game started. When you found out that RJ wasn't gonna be able to play, that I was gonna start. And I was just trying to just get my mind right, just do whatever how I was doing in college. I always preparing myself for a moment like this, but it was definitely a surreal moment and just, I was trying to soak it all in. Yeah, I think just like it's different when you start the game because you kind of kind of get into a flow a little bit. So I feel like once I was out there, kind of got up and down a little bit. Once I kind of let my first shot go, I got comfortable touching the ball, just coming off pick and rolls. I feel like I was real comfortable because with Tibbs, he always preaches, stay ready, stay ready. He always did a great job pre-game, every game, my goodness, ready. So I really felt comfortable out there. Just credit to him. Really. Uh, I think just, just knowing I can really play with you guys. Those are the defending champs. It wasn't like we came in playing one of the, the lower t- lower seeded teams in the East. We came against the defending champs. So I feel like I kind of learned a lot more about myself going against uh, the defending champ. And I feel like you got to keep on improving uh, my game. Just take it day by day, whatever it is, starting, coming off the bench, do what I can do to help the team win. Right. I just try to stay ready every day. Uh, Coach Earn uh, does a great job with me every day. You never know, like, like today. We had two guys down, Kev uh, stepped up big. Um, I did what I did, and it's just you gotta always stay ready. In the gym, late, late nights, uh, before practice, after practice, you gotta just always feel like that you're gonna start a game because you never know when your number might get called. Yeah, it is tough, I'm not gonna lie, it is tough. Just not, you, you wanna be out there playing because you always feel like you can help the team, but like you always gotta just do what it is because coach is gonna do what he, uh, feel the best for the team. And I just gotta be ready. Like I might get called for the first, like you said, last two, two minutes of the first half just to play defense. And I got to come up with that mentality, just go out there and do I can't help the team win. Um, I, I, my dad always told me to always stay in phenomenal shape. So I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm done late night shooting. I might run like 10, 10s, so one, two, three, four, 10, about two or three times. I might tell the managers, uh, put 50 on the clock, like how we did preconditioning for our preconditioning test. And my, sometimes I might just put two minutes on the clock, run around the gym as fast as I can, just try to get in tip-top shape because like, I think I played 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I never know when my number might call. I can't be ready to only be able to play 12 minutes. I just try to be in tip-top shape, just do extra lifting, just try to do as much as I can, take care of my body, get out of the cold tub, just really just maximizing everything I can at this level. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a feeling like no other, especially in uh, MSG, because my first time really kind of feeling the crowd like, like it was. It was definitely something I'm going to take in for sure, but I hope, hopefully we can come out next time with a dub for sure.